to it. I was watching uh, this recording of a uh, Skull, Girl, Skull Girls tournament the other day. So good. There was this one moment where the guy had uh, had three, and the other guy had three, like three team size. Yeah. And he had knocked him down to one dude, and then he tried to combo with two people, and he did his best ultimate on him and fucking killed two characters off instantly. And then leveled and ended up winning that round. Insane oh, comeback. Great. It was so cool. Alrighty, let's begin. So last we left off, we had got the hair. I was figured we'd go give it to the girl. Yep. Guess she doesn't want it? I'm looking for a gentleman. He's well dressed with red hair. Do you know him? He's led me to this place. No, father. I have been practicing the latest repertoire as you ordered. I have behaved very well today, haven't I? Let's play. Now stand next to the fireplace and count to three. One, two, three. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? Uh, um, what? Don't turn around! <laughs> One more song. Why would you turn around? I don't know. What? It's a porcelain mask. It broke when it fell. The distorted features. There's a grotesqueness to them. I don't like to look at it. And look, oh, underneath God. the mask, a photograph. Little Caddy Show. There's a girl lit up by spotlight in a music hall singing to live piano. That's so weird. Why would you ever need a mask? <laughs> there was a key hidden under the key. Okay. Did he play, like, every key on the piano to figure that out? Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> you look like the lyrics to a song entitled The Last Song For You. Oh, it looks like the lyrics entitled to a song entitled The Last Song For You. The verses are scrawled so poorly as to make them illegible. The cage must have housed a huge bird, only a feather rem only feathers remains. Awesome. If I were to use a wig or a mask to take the feather, no, okay. Um, are we like dressing up something? I, it does look like we're doing something like that. Wasn't there like a uh, mannequin somewhere? Yes, by the yeah, window. Uh, oh, wait. Oh, yeah, that. But just don't mind me. I'm just going to dress up this mannequin in front of you for reasons. <laughs> reasons. Science. Oh. Yes, just right. It looks more and more like the young woman in the painting. I have to repair the mask. What the fuck is going on? I know. 
How would you fix a porcelain mask? <laughs> nope. It's just... Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? Like... What's the... Yeah, what's the that. fix to... Oh, maybe the tree sap? That'd be a really yeah. weird fix, yeah. though. It's not really a fix, that's just we're going to stick these together and pretend they work. <laughs> the paper is too thin, it would shatter. Okay. Maybe we should venture out into the fog. <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't. Let's go to the left to see what's on the left side. Oh, nothing. Okay. Interesting. Oh. Okay, so it's like the fucking Lost Woods from, uh, yeah. Legend of Zelda, you just keep coming back. What did that hit? Oh, this part in the wall. Why won't it let me look at the, the picture? Alrighty. Maybe we need the feather, but how do we get it? Do we use the paper? I guess. <laughs> oh boy. Point and click games, dude. Sometimes they have the weirdest logic. <laughs> it's kind of charming. It's charming? Until you play one like, um... What was that? Monkey Island? Where you'll spend like 20 hours for the whole game. And you're just like, <laughs> Jesus Christ, what is the fucking answer to this uh... one? She looks angry. A little. I thought about doing the paper for the feather, and I was like, nah, that can't be it. <laughs> Daphne, you're back. Are you a figment of my melancholic mind? Are you the ghost of my dying music? No, it doesn't matter, because you are with me again, and I know exactly how to compose my masterpiece. Please, take my violin. Now that I've completed my work, I am no longer of use for it. It needs to be with her. Go to the mausoleum and place the violin where her heart lies. The angel of my music will guide you. Here, take the key for the mausoleum, my friend. What? Okay. Oh, is the violin gonna guide us through the fog? Oh boy. Such a weird, like, mechanic there. Here lies an angel. Great pity must be felt for those who did not hear, pity for those who did not be blessed by her naive grace, nor shaken by her heavenly voice, trembling their souls into divine ascendance. Here lies Daphne, God rest her soul. Hmm. Oh. Oh, no. 
soil goes up there. Yeah, wrong place. Yep. Okay, it's a little bit back. Oh. How are we gonna do that? Oh, I'm not okay with this. <laughs> There's really no way you could like that. Oh. With the help of River, the Naiad Daphne hid from Sun in the shadowy mists. She changed her skin for strong bark so her heart was forever concealed, her dance frozen in a rustle of a thousand leaves. Unpronounceable names in dead languages. Myths and legends this time, Norse tales, Greek, ancient Sumerian, others that I don't recognize. Some of these scripts I've never seen. I beg your pardon, sir, if I have startled you. Why I am reading these marvelous books. You do him, I'll do the other guy. Uh, in the dark. <laughs> but how can you see the words without any light? That is the only way to see them, really. That is, if you want to see the words on the other side of the page, the words from the shadows. Shadows always hides from the dark, or shadow always hides from the light, you know, so they can only be read in darkness. Are you the owner of this bookshop? Oh goodness, no. The bookshop doesn't belong to anyone. Not since I found it here. I'm just a guest, an explorer of these ancient tomes. Huh. What, what would excuse the interruption be? Sorry for bothering him from reading? Yeah, I guess, yeah. So this one? Yeah, maybe that one. Excuse the interruption. Uh, I will leave you for your reading. Factory and the library. lies on the floor, its spine reads unexplored places of the empire, a page has been marked. The place of the eternal fog, also known as Zalai, it is a unique bay in the east of Balshwar near the jungles of Bengala. It is surrounded by tall snow-capped mountains, usually covered in mist, the waters of the bay are very dangerous and rarely visited. For a second, I thought that was an octopus, not a tree. On the ground lies a book entitled The Songs of Zalai, the page to which has been torn, but the remaining fragment identifies a song title, The Search for Simurg. If I see something caught in the branches, it appears to be a page torn from the book below. So we gotta like get up there. Oh, boy. oh what's this? Oh.
do not fall asleep. <laughs> Could we have gone here the whole time? Maybe? I don't think so, though. It probably unlocked. I mustn't fall asleep. I hear them crawling. I hear them gnawing rats. Too many of them. They know I'm here. I mustn't fall asleep. They stalk me, coming closer and closer. I can see their blood red eyes glimmering in the darkness. I mustn't fall asleep. Dead roots of a once great tree fill the cavernous sewer. A strange green moss covers its surface, and there's a great crack along its length. Oh boy. Wait, was that an option? What? Are we following, like, Silent Hill logic? What the hell is going on right now? <laughs> I know. <laughs> ah, yes, you put the violin in the tree trunk. It all makes sense now. On the page was a strange poem. First into the wind they sought for the king, but lost were the birds. They wept in suffering, and flew to the sea, compelled by a need. They found their silence. Their quest was complete. Alright, so we have to figure out a way to orientate ourselves? I guess so. So is this like a puzzle we have to solve? First into the wind they sought for the king, but lost were the birds they wept in suffering, and flew to the sea compelled by a need they found their silence, their quest was complete. Mm. So are we supposed to like follow the sound of the ocean? There was waves. Yes. First, into the wind they sought for the king, but lost were the birds they wept in suffering. 
And flew to the sea, compelled by a need. They found their silence. Their quest was complete. Wind. They flew to the sea. Hmm. That's what you see. God damn it. What? We had made progress. Wind, then king. We're gonna go line by line. Okay, now here's the wind. Go in the wind. Birds. Okay, so it's wind, yeah. birds, sea. Then now silence. <laughs> nice. What do you think that was? I know. Hell yeah! Mm -hmm. I think we cracked it. One of them is headless. I just realized that one of the one of the witnesses is headless. That's not good. Cause I think that's he hung himself, remember? He did, but that usually doesn't cut your head off. I saw the old man there. Hello, Jeremiah. I knew you would find us eventually. Welcome to our humble performance. Hmm. <clears throat> oh, oh, you were there. You were part of the group. <laughs> you don't remember my name, do you? I am Alexander. What is all this about? What do you want from me? From you? Nothing, dear Jeremiah. It is you who came here searching for answers. It is the same as when you joined our group. We each came with our own reasons. Do you remember yours? Philosophy, I think. Indeed, it was our thirst for knowledge that drew us together. No one waits for us out there, dear Jeremiah. There is no one who will care for us when our hour comes. We had been alone until now. How did I end up in London after being buried in the boarding school? The bird protects us. It is by his design that we should meet again. 
We are not the only ones who take shelter beneath his wings. His influence and power is ever expanding, ever reaching. Do you not feel him beckoning? Only one to wake up from this nightmare. This is no nightmare. It is a show, a performance. The truth we lo seek lies beyond the curtain. Now that we have crossed the point of no return, the lights are on, the stage is set, and soon you shall meet the actors. Welcome. <laughs> this belongs to you. Dearest Air Dr. Wakefield, if you're reading this, then you have followed my instructions to arrive at the agreed upon address. Good. I apologize that I could not have completed accompany you immediately. My own investigations have de demanded a certain unanticipated degree of attention. I have determined that your patient, DeVitt, is in serious trouble. I will contact you with more information post-haste. In the meantime, discretion is of the utmost importance. Your friend, jo Johan Kaufman. <sighs> All right, episode four better explain a lot, because I'm really fucking confused right now. <laughs> yeah, we just saw it previously. You know, I need to show us everything. There is no turning back. I have made my mind. I am ready. Go on. Do it. Do it. Do it. Such a weird setup. I don't really want to skip the music, it's too good. <laughs> yeah. Carlos Vidal would not want us to skip it. Can you see all those stars twinkling in the black outer abyss? All the constellations traced by human eyes in long distant eras? Look now to the forest in the valley, to the old tower. From the last tree in the distance to the scars in the sky. And even the stones beneath our feet are just silhouettes that hide the truth from our poor senses. Ancient shadows that hung over the veil that hides the world, as if it were the curtain of a theater. The veil separates the truth from the lie. The veil is a place, Devitt, a place of mists. Anthony's greatest abilities brought you here, but his influence will soon fade away. The mask of lies will descend over your eyes once again. You must find the door, as I did. The door that gives passage through the veil. Open it, and we will walk together beyond the mist. I suppose you are wondering why I called you so urgently. 
should I be voicing this? Yes, one? please. <laughs> I cannot deny it, your letter was truly mysterious. I have been traveling, Doctor, to Scotland. Have you heard about the massacre of St. Gall? Well, yes, the tragic event has been a continued object of speculation and grim rumor in every newspaper in England. For weeks now, pamphlets have claimed that all kinds of macabre things have taken place. But I don't understand. How is this all connected with my patient? He was there. I'm afraid he was. he is one of the victims. Dear God. Telling me my patient was murdered. Murdered? Thankfully, no. Please excuse me for alarming you. I did not mean to give this impression. Herr de Witt has attacked but survived. What's... What happened then? It seems the criminal was caught by Herr de Witt in the midst of the act. Then he tried, tried to do the same thing to de Witt that he had done to the others. Fortunately, the nuns arrived in time to unearth him from the coffin. Air de Witt was hospitalized. The nurses report that he remained conscious, unconscious for an entire day. What was de Witt doing there? Many years ago, the St. Gall Hospital was a boarding school. It appears that both your patient and Mr. Beechworth spent a part of their youth together there. We can assume that Herr de Witt was investigating something. He believed he had found a clue related to his friend's death. What was the cause of those awful deaths? No one knows for sure. The victims were inflicted with terrible wounds. All of them had an expression of utmost terror on their face. I suspect you did not find Mr. Devitt in the hospital. Indeed. He was already gone by the time I arrived. I have been, not been able to determine his whereabouts since. I see. What conclusions do you draw from all these circumstances? I have some theories. But... I would br hold on a second. Some fucking pop up just happened. Go away. <laughs> I have some theories, but I would prefer not to reveal them until L events until events have unfolded. In all of them, there is a fundamental element whose role has not yet been revealed. And what leads you to this conclusion? It is something that the Holy Sisters found beside El Devit within the coffin. An empty hypothermic needle with traces of an unknown substance. He became a druggie. <laughs> oh god. What is this? Click? Okay, I was like, well, that's in there for a while. I'm sure this is the place. Alexander's house must just be ahead. <laughs> Not yet. Is this the same house we were at the beginning? Uh, it doesn't... it has a resemblance, but it looks different. Yeah, I think it's a different house. Alright, so I unlocked that. 
We got a well. Oh. All right. Well, we got rope. Let's hope they're alive. <laughs> yeah. Alexander! There's a scribble annotation in this piece of paper. The veil is something we sense in our innermost being incessantly. In vain we do we waste our lives, craving to tear through. It is, it is a life feel. The curtain behind which the great wings beat. Inside its ancient mists inhabit the shadows of those who left. The table holds nothing but a box of the description laudanum to be taken in case of anxiety. It's empty. The cuckoo clock is covered with a with dust. It seems to be missing an important piece, the bird. Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? Oh, that's your lines, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Is everything alright? Why are you sitting in a wheelchair? You hurt me? Can you stand? He is staring blankly at some distant point, as if he has not heard my question at all. He told me I should come here, and I came as soon as I could. Can you tell him what's happened? He gives no answer, but persistently stares at something nearby. He appears to be some kind of hypnotic trance. When I was downstairs, I could have sworn I heard footsteps. Were they yours? Or is there someone else in the house? For a moment, I felt a flash of hope that he was looking at me, but he is unresponsive. Alexander, please say something. I don't know what to do. That's not good. Anyone walking around up here? <laughs> Anyone stomping? <laughs> A huge iron hook. Fragment of diary under the hook? I can't work in the basement anymore. Those wretched sculptures, I feel like they're stalking me in the darkness. I know it's not possible, but I can hear the crunches, the flapping wings. Stone grinding on stone. They're frozen paroxysms. What diabolical... With... What diabolic art were those gestures conceived? An eternal movement, a tension, an impossible struggle to get back the life they never had. I might place them outdoors in the greenhouse and let the mold devour them and wasp make nests in their hollow hearts. Uh, okay. <laughs> camera tripod? Why is there a camera? Water. Is that blood? It's blood? Oh, it's glass. Okay. Oh, was this like a developing room? So the red is shattered, so now you can't develop in here anymore? Or look at the developed photos? I guess, yeah, that makes sense. A large envelope of black felt covered in dust and ash that is labeled with a warning, do not open it under white light. A bust with the face turned around. A picture of an angel with a gentle face. It's a letter. Dear Alexander, I have excellent news! A contact from the university is going to be access to a 12th century alchemical tome containing an amazing formulary. There is no doubt that sometimes mere contemplation takes the mind to places that otherwise it, that it never visited. 
Leafing through the grim grimoire and marveling at the exquisite illumination of its pages, I have been struck by a sudden epiphany, a radical but elegant method I have decided to try. Forgive me for not providing any information above the method itself. As soon as I get definite, or definite results, I will write to you immediately. I believe fortune has smiled truly upon us today. Mm. The shelf itself is lined with strange and complex books, some titles including The Movement of Shadows, Perse Persevering the Mind, and Lessons Beyond Nature. Let's go back downstairs. I think there were rooms we missed. Maybe. Yeah. We have a hook thing now. Where do we need to use that? I don't know. Do you think we could, like, grab whatever was attached in the well? Maybe. I don't know if that would be important, but... October 12, 1887. It's been a while since I can't devote any time to this diary for reasons beyond my control. An event most tragic has taken place in this house. Mr. Dupre has gone ill, immersed in an everlasting stupor from which it seems he shall not return any time soon. Since the accident, I patiently take care of him. The doctor's treatment doesn't seem to do any good. I feel like I feed him like a child and make sure that all the sculptures in the house are turned towards the wall. What else can I do? The clockmaker just left. He has done such a good job. Here at the end, Mr. Dupre is not going to be able to notice the change in the clocks that he has so insistently requested, and his state time will not be a problem anymore. Oh yeah, let's try to see if put it in the well. Not to know that cheap or anything. A bird of brass. Okay, that's less useful. <laughs> no, because the the clock didn't have a um didn't have a bird in it. Oh boy. Oh, uh, we could go down into that cellar from earlier that we didn't go down because it was dark. Mm. The one that's supposed to have all the statues. Or maybe that's the basement. A statue of an angel with a missing head. <clears throat> so we're missing a... Did you just hear something move? Or was that yeah, a... it did. It might have in the door, but... Okay. Yes. <clears throat> did the house change? I thought the lights were on in here. They were. They are. Okay. I mean, there's one light. I thought there was... More. Okay. trying to get us to figure out what the heck. I don't know, it seems like there's, a, there's something happening here with the bullets turn. So it's 11.15? Oh, well, according to the turned face, but if it's if the hands aren't turned, then it's, it's only going to be like exactly um, 8 o'clock, I think. Wait, what? 
one of the hands is missing. Yeah. Well, it is exactly 8 o'clock according to the other clock. Let's see if there's anything we missed in here. Oh, that was the laudanum. Do not open it under white light. I guess open it in the red room. Well, no, we don't have a, uh... Yeah. We need that. May this document serve as a record of the payment made corresponding to the following work. The cuckoo clock mechanism has been modified to give the strokes exclusively at quarter past six in the afternoon. In addition, a special device and a switch have been added to synchronize all the clocks in the house. So maybe now we can change the time of it? Maybe. A light bulb. Oh, we have to find another so red room. You know what? There yeah. was a sink down in that like kitchen area. Maybe there's a red light down there. It looks like we might have to dip the light bulb or something, or maybe cover it. I don't know. Um, hold on. Let's go back upstairs real quick. And see if we can modify the clock face now. Guess not. Oh, you know what? Because the clocks are synced, I bet we have to get the other clock. You know what I'm saying? Potentially. And twist yeah. that one so that the cuckoo clock will come out and whatever's inside it will pop out. Yep. Alright, you can't Don't take it out. Let's go to the clock. Say what? We need a hand uh, for the clock. And... Mm -hmm. so, uh... It seems like whatever the light bulb and the envelope have to do is the next thing to do. So, somewhere, you gotta find. Oh, maybe if we find like a red bottle. Yeah, just anything to put over the light bulb, I think. Or code it. Couple of old teacups, one of them is still warm. Maybe there was that bottle of laudanum, maybe we could take that out, if it's red. Oh no, the box was empty. Uh... Oh yeah, this was this room.
What do you think would happen if we turned one of the busts around? Same. <laughs> I don't know. Made it face out normally. Yeah. See what the hell happens. We can get back into the green room or the greenhouse. Maybe it's out there. Yeah, maybe. Is there something along this path we missed? Oh, no. Roman ruins. Oh no. Dip the light bulb in the blood. <laughs> Oh my I god. Am a genius. <laughs> That's uh disturbing, but cool. I literally don't know if I would have ever thought to do that. It was red and I couldn't see any other way of doing it, so but yeah, that was a little interesting. Oh god. That's so disturbing. I fucking hate red lights, they're so creepy. Inside the envelope there's a glass plate, one side covered with an opaque substance. I've placed it in the basin. Now it should have developed. Oh, run it on water. Instructions. Pictures came from a court that looked like they were improperly developed. You can hardly distinguish anything. Uh... Book of home, big book of construction, chemistry recipes. A few pages have been bookmarked and some articles are underlined. Clothing is the vehicle by which the photographic chemicals are united upon the surface of the glass and the sensitive coating produced. Many formulae are published for the article to which great value is attached, some supposing that its particular, peculiar composition belong the principal cause for failure or success. This is only a degree to agree to. Uh, by, this is only done by pouring upon the plate one ounce of the vitriol spirit solution and only then adding five or six drops of the cyanide acid. Then the plate must be thoroughly washed and watered, removing the excess of the chemicals. They would almost require a chapter by themselves. Long experience convinces us that uh, 9 out of every 10 failures occur from a want of care, the presence of dirt negligence. One cannot be over nice, careful, or cleanly. The best results always reward the most painstaking. If a mistake is made in the order specified in the formula, quickly flow again with water over the plaque and start again. So we're looking for... Collodion? We don't have collodion. Where would one find collodion? That's a good question. In here, perhaps. Oh. <laughs> I 
I have a feeling next year might be a later thing. Alright, let's see what we need, cyanide. We need it for the photo developing. We do? It's collodion and then cyanide. I see. Huh. Then we kind of just need to find the collodion. That's weird. I don't know why I thought it would be open now. Yeah. But yeah. hey. Yeah. What's past you? Was there anything useful beyond you? <laughs> Doesn't look like it. You can't go in there? I think that's where we came from. Oh. You sure? Because I don't remember a deer here. <laughs> well, the deer showed up. <laughs> I guess so. He cut himself on the ruins, apparently. Here's the oil. But I guess we just missed. Because I think I saw that there last time and I tried to click on it and it kept giving me the statue, so I thought it was part of that. Oh boy. One drop of vitriol. How many? I think it said five or six for cyanide. Yeah, five or six cyanide. Mm. One. Okay, interesting. Anthony and Alexander. <laughs> People with bird heads that are bleeding. <laughs> no, those were the the photo of them with the rat masks on. Uh, you sure those are rat masks? It looks more like the crows. That's what it said. Huh. That's even better. What was the point of that? Oh, I have the photo. Oh, give it to Alexander. Alexander, do you... Oh. Do you recognize this photograph? Take a look, it is you and your old friend Anthony. There's someone else blurred in the background. Who's the third figure? Does he mean something to you? Oh, just drops the, the bird awaits. Oh, the clock hand. He just says the bird awaits. Woohoo! What was the time again? Eight. No, the time it needed to be. Oh, I don't know. Quarter past six. Wow. 
but the clock face is rotated. So you just gotta, you, you just gotta know your clocks. All right. Okay. So. Yeah. No. 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 Yeah. What are you doing? Okay. So that's six. Is it? You, I guess you're doing it to the rotated. Yes. Right. Okay. Oh, damn it. Alright, you gotta go backwards because it would just. Say what? You lagged. The bird. What if we just chucked it or dropped it and the key fell out like way early? I was wondering the same thing. That was literally exactly what I was thinking. It was like, we could have just broke it when we heard the rattling. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Why do you still have the chemicals? That's such a weird detail. And also, why is there like a romance? Oh god, these are the statues he didn't like. Oh, I don't like that. A book written in a language unknown to me, there is scrawled annotation written in English on one of the margins. This and no other function is the ser function of the this and no other is the function of the serum we manufactured at the boarding school when we were young. It is something that we didn't understand at the time to accompany the mind to the proscenium of the big theater and there help us look beyond the curtain that separates the world of men from the land of truth. To look, I say, if anything, to apprehend an image of what lives there. Just that will the hopo, al hopo, allow us to raise the curtain enough to walk off the stage and go beyond? I have no clue what they were doing. Ah. Uh, Hoopo. Um, or Hoopoo? It's a colorful bird. From Afro-Eurasia. It is a weird looking bird. Well, it's kind of like a Woodpecker looking thing? It's weird. Wait, it's pink. <laughs> Let's go dig the guy up. A map of the stars, Deneb, Vega, and Altair. Dear Alexandra, undoubtedly your methods are definitely stronger than mine. How do you manage to get results with such alacrity? On another note, my epiphany with the treaties of alchemy was not an accidental. When examining the text code, I have come to the conclusion that for the time, Raymondus Lully sought the same thing as we did. In his account, he describes a formula that, ca that he calls Hopo, yes, likely the legendary bird. That closely resembles the same with which we have worked so far, except for minor differences. It's a pity what you tell me about old Mike. I hope he gets better soon. Oh no. oh no, it's old Mike. What's, what's that letter there? That was the one we just read. Okay. Oh.
What were you sitting on? What was that? <laughs> what? The fuck? I'm writing this in the light of my desk lamp, hoping to be able to remember it all when the birds finally sing and the sun's blessing dispels the dark shadows of the mind. During the whole afternoon, a strong wind hit the valley, so strong that it has cracked the larger branch of the old oak in the garden. I find it hard to get sleep during these nights, so I read a lot while accompanying the professor. I don't really know exactly what happened when I fell asleep. I was awakened by the chill of the night, which was seeping through the open window. I looked outside and saw him. The professor was miraculously awake. What was my joy to see him standing on the balcony, watching the valley with a true serene expression, enjoying the fresh and calm right air after the storm. I felt that a blessing had fallen upon this house, and for a moment I felt immensely happy. I stared at him for a while, without saying anything, being afraid of dispelling a vision I hadn't believed possible for a long time. And then, in the midst of the silence, I heard a sound that froze me in my seat and snatched all my calmness with such a terrible chill that I will never forget. A loud noise beside me, low-pitched at the as the drag of a slab, Mr. Alexander Snore, who was pleasantly sleeping in his bed. I already made a decision. I'll leave this house. Okay. That's actually really terrifying. Yeah. Where are we gonna put this crystal? I don't know. Hmm. This star map is interesting. I figure we go into the basement. So the crystal is some kind of strange symbols marked in the oh. surface. Try to combine the crystal with the map. Nothing. Okay. <laughs> Port cyanide on it. Wait, it maybe doesn't... we have to develop another photo. That might be it. Guess not. I figure we go back outside, maybe? Go into the basement? Yeah, what was that noise? I don't know. It's not raining. They're just static. Water? I don't know, it's weird. Okay. Mm. Alexandra? <laughs> if a statue moves, it's over. This desk is gonna be out of the way. I knew it. I fucking knew it. There's no. That's weird. There's a dark hole in the center of this room that delves into the depths of the earth far beyond what I can see. Why? An open letter with a envelope with letters on it. Dear Alexander, I'm terribly sorry about old Mike. Will you put him to rest in his favorite place? After weeks of unsuccessful attempts, I managed to distill the alchemical formula based on the notes you sent me. Certainly, you're a master of this craft. The subject reacted to the serum as usual, rapidly entering into a state of waking sleep. Suddenly, the convulsion stopped, and since then, he has not been responding to any kind of stimulation. He has remained in the state for many days. My diagnosis is brain dead, which should be our next step, Alexander. I'm worried this could be the end of our research. 
That's such a weird that. What? The Latin or French at the end of their. Oh yeah, that we don't letters. know what it means yet. Yeah. Uh, try to put the lens on the telescope. Mm-hmm. Oh, we should have looked at that star map. Yes, we should have. <laughs> it's like you can't leave. <laughs> oh. oh, we have to figure out what the... Okay, so Deneb, Altair, and Vega. Take a photo of this, Zach, and help me out here. <laughs> Actually, I'll do the same, and we'll try to argue about it for the next 20 minutes. I got it. Cool. Alright, so... Deneb is this one to that one. No, there's three up there. Yeah, it says three, but... It might just be a weird coincidence. To this one. Oh, it's yeah. the triangle. So it's this one. To this one. To this one? Uh, okay, so... Stick with two crosses. Cannon looking thing. And a U. I got it. Sure. Okay, there. Oh, yeah. Wait, show him the photo. Stab. This is what you asked? Ah, oh, yes, lost over. I am waiting for you here in the mist. It's nearby, I can hear it. What's nearby? What do you hear? I hear the beating of its wings. It knows we are afraid. I'm ready? Sit down. Am I ready? Give me the switch. Do you think we'll? F oh, no, that's your voice. Is it? Yeah. Do you think that we'll ever find any clue here about David's whereabouts? Oh, that was that guy. The police must have taken almost everything, but we have no other leads to pursue. Hopefully, they have overlooked something. Oh, this is this place. This is yours. What about this room? <laughs> Sorry, I was just reading. This is a sealed letter between this table and the wall. It looks like Herr Beshworth never sent it. I think it is best that you read it. Dearest Alexander, please, you must reflect on this. We do not yet know what we are dealing with. If you were to open the door, it may stay that way, an open way for whatever lies on the other side. Hmm. Uh... You know, I actually know something about the title now. Uh... I'm gonna go into it. It's basically, um, in demonology, I guess, there's gates that you open doing mm. rituals progressively, and the last gate is a term that comes up. 
So it's probably something like that. What does the last oh, gate God. typically mean? I think it's typically like when everything from this other side comes over, kind of thing. Mm. Hmm. These are the rolling, rolling ruins. Let's do some extras. Let's do the extras. So yeah, so apparently game two, which is I think ten bucks, so I might get it at some point. It goes through the rest of the story. Mm -hmm. The morgue. This is a nice place. Here I have the police medical report, the letter is still blank. According to the police, the deceased name is Father Ernest Glenn, the man immolated himself. Mm. There must be something wrong with the water pressure valve. Scissors? Mm -hmm. Oh, scalpel. Well, Pincer? <laughs> Just pinch his nose. I'll need to do. I'll know what to do after I do a pre preliminary examination of the cadaver. Oh. The skin is all scorched. Cause of death is probably shock caused by the sudden burns. A horrible way of passing. What could lead a man of God to commit such an act? All that remains is to file the medical report so he can receive the proper treatment of. Oh, it's the priest! Yeah. A treatment a fine gentleman deserves. Alright, so then we start in Scabble. Right. I assume so. Oh, oh. file a medical board. <laughs> I want a cut! <laughs> the case still puzzles me. If he commit, wanted to commit suicide, why did he do it in such a painful manner? Was he drugged or intoxicated? I should check his stomach for signs of poisoning. There we go. Oh god. Alright, the stomach looks fine on the outside, now I should cut it open to check its contents. What is this? There's something strange here. It looks like a piece of paper. I need something to keep the stomach open while we'll extract the thing. Oh. That, it's a little squishy. It's a note. Ernest Glenn. Damn it. Alexander and Jeremiah Devitt, so Ernest Glenn, Alexander, and I think that's Hugo, Hugo. something rather. Yeah, that one's a little weird. That's it? Oh, okay. No. Death sentence. So that was just the four witnesses. Francis Baldwin. After being certified for your guilt by pure jury, we find you guilty of the wicked and violent murders of 14 innocent and sick people. Because of this... Oh, Doc, Mr. Baldwin. Because of the sentence, yeah, I'm hereby authorized he to execute you at this very moment by hanging to death in the sight of God. Would you like to make a final statement before we proceed? Oh, not one of these again. Oh no. Johan Kaufman. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Please be careful with what you ask. <laughs> Mrs. Parnu's state is delicate. You can do that one. I <laughs> I'm 
perfectly fine and able to talk this. <laughs> Thanks for your consideration. <laughs> Now, Doctor, I understand you want me to repeat my story. I would be thankful to hear it indeed. I'll stay outside if you need me. Are you Mary Queen of Scots? I am! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a sane woman, Doctor, in complete control of my mind and reason. You do not dare to question it. I certainly wouldn't. Then I will commence. I woke up in the dark. The room was small, so narrow that I could touch the wooden walls just by raising my elbows. Could you recognize the place? I couldn't tell it first. For a moment, a most dreadful thought crossed my mind. What if I had been buried alive? When I got out, I found myself in my parents' house. I hadn't been there since since they sent me to school. Did you see anyone there? Your parents or maybe someone you know? No, they were not in the house, nor was any servant I had known in the years of my childhood. I was alone. I could feel the humid air on my skin. I could smell the scent of a long time abandoned. I walked the rooms, unsettled by the silence. The place had the bleak feel of a ruin. Then I saw someone in the opposite end of the corridor. An old woman stared at me. Did you try and talk to her? I tried to, but she did not answer. And she walked away when I tried to get closer. I followed her out through the back alley and into the streets. I got lost at the burg of Aberdeen. The streets were deserted and a thick fog covered everything. I thought I had seen the old woman through the fog once or twice, but they could have been just shadows. So the city was empty? No, not completely. I met some people, vagabonds. One of them was a priest. I remember a novelist and a boy, too. This priest, where did you meet him? I met him in a stable. Good Lord, he said mass there among the beasts. Could you imagine the profanity? Tell me more about the novelist. The woman had never written a word. She created only in her mind, you know. <coughs> she could tell the story. Thank you. Perfect precision. I could barely, so I could even hear a piece of her last word. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> what was the piece about? Do you remember anything about the novelist's work? Yes, the piece she told me was something like The shadows of the past soon melted within the land that loved silence. The fog they walked found themselves lost. Hoping for a sign from their gods, they set a camp on the beach. But thirty birds pointed to meet their crowd. So the boy, what about him? I came across an abandoned carriage. The horse was long dead, its bones still harnessed to the cart. There was a young man petting the carcass of the animal. Could you talk to this young man? He was deaf, but I think he could read my lips. When he spoke, he did with a clear accent. He could only listen to the songs that departed. What happened then? As I walked, the fog got denser. I could barely see anything around. I finally met the old woman. She didn't say a thing, but gave me a cardboard card, and she left. So she gave you a playing card? It was one of those used to tell fortune. There was a drawing on it of a veiled person holding a lamp. Then, the mist seemed to clear out and I could finally see. 
what could you see? A barren land, bad. This is my roaring wind. Bad. Bad. <laughs> there are thousands of birds. And I realized there was something else. What was it? It was there. Looked at me. The burning dark inside. The shaking. The scream. That vision, I cannot understand. What is it, Doctor? Have I finally lost my strength of mind? I believe you. I am sure that what you lived was real. But I am afraid that I currently lack any proof that can confirm your account. I am sorry. I should leave. Thank you for your time. Wait, Doctor! I have something else to say. When I first woke up here, there was so something beside me. Would this be enough proof? Um, no. Dude, I was trying to carry that, that conversation on everything. mono. <laughs> I know. But I couldn't well, do I had, it. Uh, I have one. That just completely messed with everything I thought was happening. Why? She seemed to have a similar experience with, like, fog and the birds and the eye and whatever as we did. Yeah. But she has nothing, well, supposedly, had. she's not one of the witnesses. So, like... Well, I what? think what happened was, is that they opened the gate as kids. Mm. And so now it's walking around and stuff. Well, rip. Oh, the tarot card might have cursed her. No, the tarot card was what lifted the... Well, oh, I wait, guess. I did lift the fog, but it showed her that. <laughs> yeah. So, coin toss. Um, Let's go to awake. <laughs> yeah, but no, I was trying so hard to carry that fucking conversation. It was just like, what about this? Hey, you know, da, 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 da. like Jesus, yeah. my voice could not handle it. Oh, it's awake. They all look dead. He does not look dead, but just asleep. I barely knew him, busy as he was traveling the world. What would be of man with no aspiration for the other side to inspire or lead him? <laughs> I nope. knew it would come to this. <laughs> Your father was a terrible mess of a man. I am only grateful that he brought you to our home. Soon enough, not long after you were born, I hold no doubt that you will learn from this bad example and grow up to be a righteous student. Interesting. So that's the what could there be greater than the efforts of mortals to rise from their miserable condition? Wait, I am so confused. How is he his son? We will speak later, young man. That's the redhead, isn't it? Or maybe not. No, I think it's just someone else. Just some guy. We are busy. This is so sad. He was the most. <laughs> he was most dearest to me. Now your father was a complicated man. He had a strong character. and was stubborn as a mule. When he had taken a determination, he believed in the world. Well, I'm not sure he knew exactly what it was. I like how the one person who has to talk the most was this girl. I know. <laughs> That which avoids description, the unknown, provides men with a reason to exist. Dude, I was like, is that dialogue option with the dead person? Uh. Oh, well, I thought the piano stopped. I was terrified for a second. Why did he... Wait, why did he... I forget. Why did he do this? Yeah. Question? Wait, talk to the guy who said we'll talk later. This is an obscure domain. It's secrets taken by man from the silence of nature and death. You are the young Beechworth, is that right? So Beechworth was the guy that man hangs himself, right? Yes. 
Yes. And his wife had a new face in a picture. Your the... father left you everything, Anthony. Anthony? Wait, wait. Oh, this is... Wait, no. Anthony's the one who hugged himself. Yeah, this is him as a kid. Oh, God, I didn't realize. Okay. The house. Yeah. He was very specific in his testament, though. That you should receive this promptly. It's personal book log. I don't know. These are the memoirs of my life, my research, and knowledge of the other side. Use them wisely, son. Uh, oh! Okay, so that's why we're into this whole thing in the first place, is because this is what his dad left him. Huh. Well, that's interesting. Master of the Occult? How do we not have that? I want to be Master of the Occult. Fail to escape your destiny? Wait. The angels protect this house. Weren't there angel statues in the basement? And in the... the other place. I am not okay with any of that. <laughs> Alchemist become that an expert developer? Wait, was there another photo we could have done? I don't know. Navigate, Navigate through the fog like a pro. Oh, I guess do it without help. Unlock all five tarot cards? No way. What? Find something left behind to ease the pain of a dying man. Oh yeah, apparently you could have done that in time, I guess. Had the morphine there for him. End the poor huh. bird's suffering. Discover all secrets in the game. Read oh, all the letters. Oh, we could have killed the game. bird that we fed the cat. Rip. Oh. Not gonna lie, this is, uh... This, this game was very entertaining. I didn't really learn much, but I really liked it. I'm curious what the other photo was. Yeah, I... What if it just means, um... Like, without looking at the chemicals, you just put them in there and it works? It could be one of those. Because technically, if you already know, it might, it might be one of those things that some people just know. Like, oh, you need these two chemicals. I don't know. But yeah, it could also be another photo. That's interesting. Mm. Use the hammer on the crow in order to get that achievement. Hmm. Uh, the departed finds something left behind. First, you have to use the music box in the room with the nun. After that, go to the beach, and you will find the clothes of a nun. Just look at them, and you should get the achievement. Huh. Oh, so she, like, kills herself in the ocean or something? Uh, yeah, that's weird. I wish we would have seen that. Merciful. Ease the pain of a dying man. After you distracted the nun from this man, he asked you to help him dying. Just take the second option, otherwise you won't be able to get the achievement. Uh, now you should be able to go back to the room use the music box and get the morphine there. Later when you go into the basement, use the morphine on the poor man and you should get the achievement. Uh, oh. Okay, so order things, huh? For the full deck 5 tarot card achievement, you'll need to do two runs of episode 3 where you turn over the other two cards. Oh. Instead of all three of them. That's so weird. It's just weird that the other, that the woman in the extra had the uh The one that she saw was one of the options. Oh boy. The one that that girl got? Yeah. Okay, yeah, so navigate the fog without failing. Na develop the photo without failing. Uh -huh. After you finish the telescope puzzle, you need to get the you need the crystal which is required to solve. Go back to the room where you came from and you should get the achievement. That's not good. The angels will be blocking your way. So they're just like, nope.
Yeah, weeping angels are not okay. And then the other one is just find all the notes somehow. I think we must have missed one or two. Yes. so. Oh. When it says master the occult, discover the secrets, it's not referring to achievements. Uh, interesting. There's none in episode one. In episode two, after at the location of the second letter in the classroom, you will also find the first secret. Just stand there for a while and you will hear strange noises. Oh god. Some people Sorry, say that you can get the following secret after finding all others, but I got it before I had all other secrets. Um, before you use the music talk, before you use the music box in the room with the nun, talk to her and take the first option. Uh, after that, use the music box, and then if you go, oh. Oh, dude. Okay, if you tell her maybe there is no lord, she kills herself. If you tell her the lord works in mysterious ways, you can talk to her. In oh. the, at the beach. What the heck? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, so we would have had the talk to her option. Mm-hmm. Because we said the other thing. Uh, at the During the episode 3 one, when it turns night, if you go back to where you were at the beginning of the episode, there will be a huge red eye drawn on the wall in blood. <laughs> oh no. Um, you have to find the lantern really early on, and then if you go back, follow the man into the house and go straight to the garden, and you will see the man turning into crows. Mm. The guy you follow. Yeah. There is also a secret in the bookstore. Next to the men there, there is a bookshelf where you have to find five different books. The titles are The Horola by Guy de Maupassant, The Great God Pan by Arthur Mackin, The Silver Key by H.P. Lovecraft, The Approach to Al Matusim by George Louis Borges, and The Black Cat by Edgar Allan Poe. I don't know what that does, but you have to find them. Yeah, it's interesting. Another secret is found in the room with the gramophone. Just turn it off and, t and on until you hear something different than laughing or crying. And then in episode four, if you go into the greenhouse, you hear the sounds of breaking glass. Huh. If you wait in the room after Alexander screams and the windows open, a crow will appear and say never more. <laughs> awesome. Hmm. I'd say the game is certainly entertaining. I yeah. just wish they combined one and two. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know why. I would have to, like, understand the development process, but it seems like they were adding episodes to the first game anyway. Mm -hmm. So I kind of am confused as to why they would make it a whole other thing. But, I don't know. There might be a reason. Like, a good reason. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. When did the first... The first one came out in, like, what, 2013, I think I saw? Uh, The Last Door came out in 2014. 14. So, I guess... Hmm. Oh, it's cheaper. What? Oh, the second one is cheaper than the other day? It's nine dollars if you already have the first one, instead of ten. That's I didn't even know you could do that on Steam. 
I guess it's one of those, like, uh, it's like maybe a little purple box or something. You want to try the second one, Zach? Of course. Do you have time today? Uh, good question. I don't know. Um, you know what? I never got lunch. I'm going to take a break, eat some lunch, uh, make sure things are in order, and then, sure. All right, so let's end the stream. I'll grab lunch, you'll grab lunch. We can talk, figure out schedules, and then either I'll come back and play another game that I have set up, or we'll get the second one and continue it. Nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day.